Hi, my name is Danielle Griffith. I'm the program director at the Kelly Ann Dole Memorial Fund. Thank you for joining our weekly Shining a Light program. I'm here with Harry Altman from the Wissahickon Fire Company. Hi, Harry. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good, thanks. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your role at the fire company? I'm captain with the uh, fire department and line officer. I officer sought, serve on the uh, board of trustees. Um, and I've been involved with this fire company for 18 years. Wow. 18 years. Impressive. So we have had a long-standing relationship with the Wissahickon Fire Company, starting with Frank Talese over 10 years ago. Yes, Frank was instrumental in helping the uh, relationship with uh, the Kellyanne Dolan Foundation and the fire company to provide hospitality or a home for uh, the foundation, uh, foundation to conduct a couple programs around Thanksgiving time and Christmas time. Um, one of them is where we help put together, assemble meals, Thanksgiving meals for families. And then Christmas time, it's a haven of toys and gifts for uh, children in the community. Yeah, and this year we did 75 meals, didn't we? Yes, in amazing. record time too. In record time, yes. <laughs> it well, was, it was pretty a team amazing. effort. Yep. I think we're getting it down to a yeah. good science. Yes. And with holiday, we've been doing that um, over 10 years and we serve over 200 families every year. And you guys give us your, um, is that the meeting hall, the meeting room, the yes. party room? Well, yes, we provide for the assembling of the meals. We use our engine room. So we pull all of, all of our apparatus out onto the apron and then set everything up so that we can assemble all the meals, the turkeys, the desserts, the mm -hmm. toilet paper and everything else that's essential. Mm -hmm. And um, for Christmas time, we use our conference hall. Mm -hmm. And you donate it to us for an entire week. Yes. And it starts empty and ends up full. Full. Full Amazing. and then full of smiles and cheers too. And we thank you so much. How are you guys doing in the COVID-19? Uh, it has definitely changed things. Uh, what's odd is the number of calls that we've had, the volume of calls has dropped considerably. Um, um, I'm pretty sure that's the same with the surrounding communities. Uh, we cover all of Ambler Barrow and half of uh, Lower Gwinnett Township. Um, and then we do mutual aid. But then the volume of our calls has dropped significantly. Um, especially the automatic fire alarms. And I'm sure that is a result of people not rushing out the door to their jobs, right. school or you know, other activities that they have to go to. So they're more inclined to be safe. They know what's going on. Um, however, the number of actual fires has increased. Um, I'm not saying in volume, but the actual real fires when we've been, been dispatched have been um, greater especially in uh, surrounding areas, not necessarily in Lower Gwinnett or Ambler. Wow. Um, car accidents, um, I've heard not necessarily in our area, but the number of vehicle rescues has gone up and the accidents have increased in intensity, I guess because people are speeding more because of less traffic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. And what precautions do you take now when you go out to a call? Uh, we've implemented new um, uh, standard operating guidelines. Uh, one, depending upon the call, there's only four or five guys that are allowed on the truck at one time. Mm -hmm. uh, masks are required. Um, in any home, um, especially if we're alerted by county um, on the di dispatch that there are positive cases, we are wearing our air packs. Um, and, you know, in addition to our masks, mm -hmm. so the masks that we have, we'll take those off and we'll put, actually put our air packs in, and don those and use them when we're going into a house that there's a positive case. Right. Um, needless to say, we're very cautious. We're always um, uh, going along the guidelines for the uh, social distancing. Uh, when we return from the, the calls, we are cleaning and disinfecting anything that anyone has touched. And it's typically the engineers or the officers that end up doing it. So after everyone leaves, any tool 
and any part of the apparatus that may have been touched by uh, a firefighter or any of us, we disinfect it. Handles, doorknobs, the starter, the steering wheels, uh, any tools, the axes, halogen bars, um, et cetera. So, uh, you know, it takes a little bit longer to uh, clean up afterwards, but we've definitely been thorough. And fortunately, we have not had any positive cases in our fire department. That's amazing. Amazing news. Are you encountering a lot of um, positive cases on calls? We're aware of them, but not necessarily on our calls. Okay. Uh, we are hearing that um, that the majority of the cases have been in the um, senior residential communities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Again, if we get called to these areas, again, we're, we're um, using our social distancing and SOGs and wearing our air packs accordingly. Right. right. And have fewer people going inside the buildings. Well, Unless it's an actual working fire, then it's right. all hands on deck. Right. Um, well, we thank you for being on the front lines and caring for the community. Are you guys doing anything to lift up the community in this time? Uh, we're trying. We've been, you know, uh, been asked to do drive-bys for weddings, birthday mm -hmm. parties, um, f a couple funerals. Oh. Uh, yes, unfortunately. Um, none of them that I'm aware of have been a result of the COVID virus um, uh, and other activities. But uh, we're here for the community. You know, anytime anyone has a request, We'll see what we can do, and we definitely try to accommodate at all times. That's amazing. That's really nice of the wedding. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. Yes. And if and if the community wants to reach out and help you, are you taking donations? What can they do? Sure, we're a volunteer fire company. Um, obviously, we get some money from the municipalities themselves, but the balance of our operations and other needs that we have, which are great have been through fundraising activities mm -hmm. um, of different sorts. Unfortunately, because, well, now because of COVID, we're limited on what we can do. Um, but even prior with the volume of calls that we were getting and, and responding to, um, it, it's just been difficult to do the types of fundraisers that we were doing in the past, like yeah. the pop <laughs> meals or anything like that. But yes, you know, and at times when we do, these special activities, people have provided us donations. I mean, we don't we don't expect it, we don't do it, and you know, and expect it in return. But people have been kind enough to do that. But if they wanted to send something, absolutely, they, yes, they yeah. would send it to the firehouse. Yes, to the Wissick and Fire uh, Company on Race Street. Yeah, two forty five Race Street in Ambler. Yes. Yeah. Well, Harry, we thank you so much. We thank love our relationship with the fire company. We couldn't do what we do without you. Likewise. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. And thank you. Guys. Yeah, and we thank you for being on the front lines and risking your lives for others. Uh, anytime. It's a passion that we all have. We love doing it, and it's tough to give up. So it's a good right. effort. Stay safe and healthy. Thank you. You too. Have a good day. All right. Take care. Thanks. Bye. Right, bye.